to mobile electronic diagnostic. Uh, this is Ford Focus 20, 2012. Uh, we change the transmission control module, and if you change it, you have to program it. So what we are going to do right now is we are using our FJDS. We're going to start a new section. Hopefully, everything is connected. And now we try to communicate with it, and we need to program the transmission. See, this vehicle is weak with fuel, fuel module or FMP. Okay. Okay. FMP. Hold on. You're gonna click on it. It will show what it is. Fuel pump. Fuel FMP. Okay. I don't see no VIN number here, but it's okay. I will get the VIN number in the bottom. Now everything is good there. You can self-test the car first to be sure what you what code you're getting. Programming this one it takes a little bit of time, but at least uh, diagnose the car. The car is running now. I need it to charge the battery and charge the booster too. You have the oil piece. You change it. Yeah. Can you bring it? It's possible. It's not heavy, right? The computer. The aluminum piece, right? Yes. Yeah, bring it. I want it. Sometimes you have to leave the old one inside. But uh, this is the Ford Focus 12. You see, we have ABS code. A lot of code here, you see. Lost communication with engine computer. Communication, TCM, circuit, ABS, ABS, satellite. We have a couple of codes. BCM, BCM, key, passenger, locking door, BCM, BCM, PCM, invalid control module, monitoring data from the transmission, you see here, again, again, AB, okay, this is transmission, transmission control system, electrical, okay, invalid data, okay, okay, so let's go ahead now. I'm gonna go here, module programming. I'm gonna click on the next module installation programming transmission. They put a use on, I believe. Ignition on. So I'm gonna only ignition on. Uh, eight, eight, nine, eighty-four. Is that the part? Is that the one? Yeah. Yes, that's the one. It's gonna go online. Locating the integrity of the module. Right. This piece, right? Yeah, hold on. Install blank service mission on. This is the piece here. You put a used one or brand new? Used one, the one that came with the transmission. Okay. So you change you change the piece on the transmission, right? It's supposed it's supposed to come with a it's supposed to come with a paper to show you how you're gonna deal when you finish it it may not start it may not drive so you have to leave it, it, it have like that's where you can go crazy with it but we are doing the programming completely and it's supposed to have when you buy it from the dealer it have some procedures that you have to follow okay. mm -hmm. now I'm programming it as you see. And guess what? I have one like this in my in my my shop. So you buy a used one, right? Yes. Or you buy a complete transmission? Complete transmission. With this one. Okay. okay. This is the only the computer. This is this is the original one for the car. This one? Yes. When you left it in it, it doesn't work? When you leave this one inside there, it doesn't work? Or you never try that? Because sometimes, mostly, this is the one that is bad. But this thing is recording for the safety. When you have this thing, it's good. It's recording as soon as you start the car, right? Yes. Let me see. After you finish. On. 
off on again everything is good after this you have a Okay, so we're gonna go to select toolbox or train. Okay, transmission. Okay, so give me a is this one done? So I'm gonna go to toolbox port train service function. anything mission is on See anything? I don't. I don't see anything that more than this. Let me see now. slide on so let me just run the complete test now I don't see anything that could be look for us some of them they need 
some of them they don't need so I'm gonna go through all the diagnosis and then we take it from there and then I will delete everything okay ABS I have quotes on ABS A lot of quotes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Turn the key off. Yeah. I'm gonna try to clear everything. Let's see what's gonna happen. That's too much.